Stuart Carroll here from Drone Film Guide, the channel where we learn to fly like filmmakers. Definitely a case of it seemed like a good idea at the time when I planned this little outing. I'm not gonna lie, lady in the shop when I bought the ticket for the ski lift here said, just be careful, it's a bit chilly at the top, minus eight degrees. Ha! I said. Look at my lovely warm jacket. I've even got my thermals on. Well, I can tell you now it's absolutely flipping freezing, so I'm not going to hang about. We're doing a one battery Mavic Mini challenge. See just how much we can get out of this little beauty in this outstanding location. I only have one battery anyway, so we're going to have to fly smart, fly efficiently, get some photos, get some quick shots, shots of me, shots of the location. Oh, look at the sun. Oh my goodness. This is just absolute paradise. Right, I'll see you at the top. Don't ask me how I took a wrong turn at the top of a mountain. <laughs> I'm trying to find some path to get me up there. And I'm, yeah, what an idiot. Anyway, on the plus side, I think this has to be probably the most beautiful thing I have ever seen in my life. I want some shots of the walk that I'm doing here with the Mavic Mini. Now it doesn't have active track, follow me, any of that kind of stuff. So we're going to be smart, just do a few static shots, have me pass through the frame, and then I'll try a couple of quick shots. I'll be right back. I think that went pretty well. I got it down with about 60% remaining, down from about 95% to 60% and I got tons of shots there. Lots of coming into shot, shots, kind of static shots where I passed through the frame. I got a little bit of motion, I got a big landscape shot there. A couple of quick shots. So I think that was a pretty good use of time, although I wanted to get her down and get to the top here and save, save the best for last. But so far so good. Right, let's crack on. In case you're wondering what this big grey box is on my back, it's the Phantom 4. I'm having a lot of trouble with my iPhone SE in these cold conditions. It has a habit of switching off. But unfortunately, that's the only device I have that controls the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic Mini. I also have an iPad Mini 2, which I can use for my Phantom 4. So that's what's in the big grey box. I'm not going to come all the way up here with just one drone, so I have three drones with me. Mavic Mini, Phantom 4 Standard, and the Mavic 2 Pro. Whew, a little bit out of breath now. Made it to the top though. I'm going to put the Mavic Mini back in the air, I'm going to document this process of me reaching the summit. Don't tell anyone I took a chairlift. And uh, let's see what we can get. I'm going to do some more quick shots, some more strategic static shots where I come into the frame and just try and tell a bit of a story and then I'm going to get some photographs, try and get a panorama as well that we'll stitch together in post. 60% battery, I need to get this thing back down by 25% battery so not a huge amount of time so let's be as efficient and as smart as possible with our flying. <laughs>
down with 19% remaining. Tons of shots, quick shots, static shots, big landscape shots, a panorama that I took loads of JPEGs or stitched together in post. Honestly, guys, I think you've probably joined me on the greatest drone flight of my life. The last five years of flying these things. The lesson here is that often you're actually under a lot of time pressure when you're flying in a professional environment. You don't have hours on end to just faff about and hope for the best and see what you get. You need to start thinking a little bit more like a filmmaker, trying to be a little bit more strategic. Don't just fly 500 meters away and then think, oh well, that's, that's that shot done. When you're flying back, make the most of that opportunity. Anyway, if you want to get into this in more detail, do download yourself a copy of our free ebook from Drone Zero to Drone Hero, 37 ways to get you flying like a filmmaker. We also have a beautiful drone cinematography masterclass that will be of interest to you if you want to be making some money doing this. Until next time, happy flying.